Hi, this is Jeffrey from MTB Guide, and today it's time to review the Lazine Digital Alloy Drive Mini Pump. This high volume mini pump comes with a digital pressure gauge that is rarely seen on mini pumps. It should be a quick, accurate, and portable pump for those inconvenient moments during your mountain bike rides. So, let's take a closer look. The Lazine Digital Alloy Drive is based on Lazine's more popular Alloy Drive Mini Pump, but with the obvious addition of a digital pressure gauge. This means that you still have the CNC machined aluminium body, ABS flex hose that supports Presta, Schrader and Dunlop valves, and an included bike mount. The pump is rated at 90 psi or 6.2 bar, which is high for a high volume mini pump, and I'll be testing it later on. The gauge is also advertised as super accurate, so we'll see how much of that is true as well. The digital alloy drive does not have any competitors that are combining a mini pump and a digital pressure gauge. However, there are a few that offer an analog pressure gauge, which should also give you accurate readings if the gauge isn't too small. Here is a list of what I consider competitors. This list also includes the standard Lazine Digital Alloy Drive as a reference. Price is a big one here as you can see. At €74.95, the Lazine Digital Alloy Drive is an expensive pump and the most expensive mini pump in this lineup. The Burzman and Crankbrothers pumps have a quite similar high finish quality and don't differ that much feature-wise, making the price premium of 25 euros quite steep. Check the link in the description for up-to-date pricing. The maximum pressures shouldn't be an issue as long as you can achieve about 65 psi or 4.5 bar, which is generally the maximum tire pressure for standard mountain bike tires. Being on the trails with or without a backpack, weight is always an important one. The digital alloy drive is one of the heaviest pumps, weighing in at about 170 grams, 3 grams lighter than the claimed weight of 173 grams. Some pumps feature different sizes, compromising between weight, size and volume, but the digital alloy drive comes only in one size. A feature seen on some mini pumps, but not on the Lazine, is the possibility to change between high volume and high pressure mode, making a pump also suitable for road use. So, let's subject the Lazine Digital Alloy Drive to some tests, starting with the accuracy test first. Since the digital meter is the main differentiating feature of this pump, accuracy is an important one here. The tire will be pumped up to 13 and 26 psi, or 0.9 and 1.8 bar, and checked with a calibrated 30 psi pressure gauge. The tire will be pumped up to these pressures three times, and an average is taken from these numbers. The resolution of many pressure gauges is in 1 decimal for PSI and 2 decimals for bar. Measurements taken in the PSI unit are in this case more accurate and will be used as a main unit in these tests. Looking at the results, the Lazine Digital Alloy Drive rates up to about 2 PSI too high, which is a considerable amount, especially when you're running low pressure, high volume tires. For comparison, the common Swalby Air Max Pro gauge reads up to about 1 PSI too high. Next up is the 100 rep test. As a base for this test, I'm using a 27.5 inch wheel, a standard inner tube and a Maxxis High Roller 2.3. The freshly mounted tire is first fully inflated to about 60 psi to make sure that the tire is seated properly. Then the tire is fully deflated until no air comes out. After that the pump is connected and the pressure is measured after 100 strokes of the pump. These steps are repeated 3 times to get an average score. The Lazine Digital Alloy Drive gets the tire up to 18.3 psi after 100 reps, which is good for a high volume pump, but remains fairly labor intensive. Last is the maximum pressure test. The advertised pressure of 90 psi or 6.2 bar is high, especially for a high volume pump. The tire is pumped up until I can't get more pressure in the tire. I consider a pump that goes to 40 to 65 psi usable for harder to mount tires to pop and seat properly on the rim. The Lazine Digital Alloy Drive cut to 50 psi, but makes it usable for most mountain bike tires. However, it falls greatly short on the advertised pressure, missing about 40 psi and making it unsuitable for use with road tires. Using the Lazine Digital Alloy Drive is pretty straightforward. Undo the dust caps, unscrew the ABS hole from the top, and screw the opposite valve type in the bottom of the pump. Next, you can screw the hose on the valve and start pumping. And don't forget to turn on the pump. 
you will lose some additional pressure when connecting and disconnecting from Presta valves, as is mostly the case with these threaded connections. The button on the hose relieves pressure from the hose, making disconnecting from Presta valves easier and should prevent unscrewing the valve core. But using the same button on the Schrader valve will deflate your tire. The hose seals well almost every time, and in the rare case it doesn't, you have to screw on the hose again. The capacity of this high volume pump seems well for getting the tires up to the correct pressure to continue your ride again. In some occasions, I had to pump a tire to 45 psi to get the tire to seat properly. I found that, reaching the limit of this pump, the force needed greatly increases, but that also meant that the handle starts to somewhat dig in your hand. Especially at the opening where the hose is stored, gets pretty uncomfortable while pumping. The design comes with a bike mount, making it easier to ride without a backpack. The mount feels cheap, but it keeps the pump in place. One thing that quickly becomes clear is the rattle. But it's not the handle that rattles. Even though it could use a rubber seal to prevent rattle when not using a bike mount, it's actually the hose that rattles inside a bit. I personally put my mini pump in my backpack, and then the rattle isn't noticeable. The battery seems to hold up really well. After a few months of occasional usage, and testing for this review, the battery indicator didn't even drop a bar. Since you only use it a couple of minutes at a time, I don't expect it to run out anytime soon. Battery replacement is pretty easy, and can be done by unscrewing the cap under the display. The battery is a less standard CR1220, but finding a new battery shouldn't be that difficult. Tightening the cap doesn't inspire much confidence, since it feels fragile and there's no clear stopping point. The Lazine Digital Alloy Drive is at €74.95, an expensive pump and definitely not for everyone. If you value your tire pressures very much and want an all-in-one solution, then this might be something to consider. But be aware that you still pay a hefty premium over several mini pumps with an analog gauge. The Lazine is marked as a high volume pump and you should only use it for that, as the pump maxes out at only 49 psi or 3.4 bar. As a high volume pump, you should expect that it displaces a large volume of air on every stroke, and the digital alloy drive delivers, scoring 18.3 psi and a 100 rep test, making it a fairly efficient high volume mini pump. The digital alloy drive is not a smart pump. It can't connect to your phone and do some fancy stuff. It doesn't even automatically turn on when it recognizes pressure. It just replaces an analog gauge with a digital gauge. The display makes it easier to read the tire pressure, but you do unfortunately need a battery to make it work. As is the case with most outdoor electronics, they still need to work after a bit of rain. The digital alloy drive seems to be somewhat weather resistant, but since no IP rating, like IP68, is mentioned, I wouldn't submerge it under water. Ergonomics of a pump are often overlooked and noticed when it's too late. The ergonomics of the digital alloy drive are reasonable. The ABS hose gives you the flexibility to pump in a more comfortable position, while the hose stays connected to the valve. But when the hose is removed from the top of the pump, it leaves a hole, which gives you an uncomfortable high pressure point on your hand as the tire pressure rises. The Lazine digital alloy drive sits in a tough spot. There are cheaper pumps with gauges, you can get a separate pump and pressure gauge that is more accurate, and there are mini pumps that can do both high volume and high pressure. So the other features should be more important to you if you consider buying a Lazine digital alloy drive. Thanks for watching my review of the Lazine digital alloy drive. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't yet. MTB Guide brings you product reviews, how to's and trail highlights. So if that's what you're into, definitely subscribe and you'll be notified when a new video goes online. Have a nice day and I'll see you the next time.